Welcome to Mamaki's Rasterlink tutorial series. In this short movie, I will be demonstrating a couple advanced methods for creating custom white layers and printing options available for both pixel and vector images. I will be creating the files in Photoshop and Illustrator. If you use other programs, the important part is the color mode applied when creating the final print files. Let's begin with the vector image. In Illustrator, I have created this flag using CMYK black squares and white squares with a white to gray gradient. I have already saved this file as a PDF, which you can see here. And vector images are by default CMYK images, so I don't have to change anything in the color mode. I'm going to open it in raster link. Your first option in creating a white layer is to create an automatic layer using the special plate button. You can select white ink and the percentage of white that you want and then select valid pixel to only put ink under uh, color image data. I'm not going to compose it automatically right now. As you can see it's creating a solid layer of white at the percentage selected. However, there are a couple gaps in the middle. This is because the image above does not have any color data in the highlights of the flag. The pixels there are CMYK value 0000. Unless it's a named spot color, Rasterlink will treat zero data color as a transparency. To show you the second method, I'm going to duplicate this file now under the Properties tab, I'm going to change its job attribute properties from full color to mono color. And then I'm going to select white. What this does, it takes all of the black CMYK data and transposes those percentages over to white. If your final print is white only, you can use this method of creating your image in grayscale and then transposing it over to white ink.